the weeds here um, out here treating some invasive aquatic weeds um, here we have uh, Phragmites growing in a you know a drainage creek um, and uh, because it's invasive it multiplies very quickly and Phragmites it's their uh, growing um, nature there's a couple cattails in here as well but both of them grow very dense um, below uh, the water surface causing um, restricted water flow and stale water where mosquitoes can grow because the water's not moving it'll grow into the concrete um, drainage tunnel the swale which will uh, clog up the tunnel so um, areas like this where you need um, it open to create uh, space for water to flow the issue here is that it is a privacy barrier from the house to a walking trail so we're not looking to kill the population we're looking to reduce it and push it back so that in two years we can come back and do it again but as you can see there's Phragmites down there you can see the seed heads but up here there's a couple cattails I think you might be able to see here's some over here very similar grow very similar both uh, very dense um, root systems um, multiply very very quickly rhizomus they creep um, through uh, aquatic areas um, which leads me to how to control it it's a need to use aquatic herbicides because uh, you need to be cognizant that there's frogs and fish and a whole bunch of this is a you know its own ecosystem here in this aquatic area whether it's an actual stream like it is here or it's just a marshland or wetland you need to be thinking about um, where the herbicide is going to leach to where it's going to flow to so we're using um, Rodeo, which is the aquatic version of Roundup, and we're also uh, spiking it with a little Reward, which is Diquat, um, also an aquatic herbicide, but uh, I wanna make sure the Diquat's in there just to burn down um, any foliage that the, the Rodeo may not completely kill. Um, the Rodeo, I'm really looking for to translocate into the root system and kill it from the bottom up, but uh, sometimes that doesn't happen, so I'm looking for the Diquat to at least burn some of the foliage that might not get the, the issue with uh, spraying a dense uh, stand like this is that uh, in the center you're not going to get the the foliage as wet as possible and even with I'm using a aquatic spreader sticker but even so it's so dense that around the outside you could spray and bump your pressure up to really penetrate but no matter what you're not going to get all the foliage wet on the inside of these uh, very dense stands so you're doing the best you can and that's why I put the diquat in there so even if just a little bit gets on the foliage in the center I can burn that foliage down so but rodeo it does take a long time to see uh, any type of death but once it starts to yellow after 10 to 14 days I usually get very good control when uh, I'm using the max rates of I think it's two quarts per 25 gallons for a one and a half a percent solution it's actually a little less than that but um and then the reward very little you don't need much um uh sometimes around the brand roundup actually mixes diquat into their uh their um formulations i think roundup pro max is actually glyphosate and diquat so it is a common formulation that uh people mix diquat with uh with glyphosate so um, the spreader sticker I have maxed out just because these leaves are so slick um, it's very difficult to get them wet so you if you're not using a spreader sticker you're gonna absolutely have um, very very little damage so um, you need to use the spreader sticker and you'll see a complete difference if you were spraying one with uh, surfactant and one without you'll see that one's not wet at all but literally the the water's just rolling off so you need to use the spreader sticker and um, I'm expecting anything on the outside that I actually sprayed. I'll probably get 80% control and then anything more towards the center or the other side. Uh, you know, it's either going to have to be um, the dead stuff either cut down or wait till it falls and sprayed again. Or, you know, that's what they'll actually live with. And uh, that's the stand that will creep out and I'll, I'll retreat in two years. All right, Robbie Weeds out.